Hello there folks, Space Doyster here, and welcome back to Octopath Traveler 2, Electric Boogaloo. In the last part, I don't remember what I did, it was something. Oh right, Ochette's Chapter 2, part of it. Anyway, in this part, we'll be doing Throne's Chapter 2. Oh my goodness, and Casty's over there too. Alright, so, yeah, we're going over to the Winter Bloom Wonderland, or whatever it's called. That's right, I have business here. All right, now we're gonna do Throne's story, Father's Route. Throne promised to meet Father in the town of Winterbloom. To win her freedom from the Black Snakes, she must kill him and retrieve one of the keys to her collar. All right, here we go. Father told me. When you have finished your job, come and join me in Winterbloom. He failed to give me any other details, but he never does. I believe the snakes have a stronghold on the outskirts. He'll be there. I'm sure of it. I should learn more about this job and wait for an opening. And once I find it, I will kill father. Dun dun dun. Alrighty, travel banter, travel banter. Now to find that tavern. Ellipsis Gaming. Father has set a trap for me there, without a doubt. I've known him for a long time. I can't imagine he'd pass up the opportunity. Ellipsis Gaming. Are you ready, Oswald? Ellipsis Gaming. You're rather quiet today, Professor. Even more Ellipsis Gaming. Is cold. And Ellipsis Gaming. I guess that was supposed to be funny. I do not know. Anyway, yeah, make it daytime. Alrighty, let's see here. We did not do anything with the people around here. Ooh, okay. A young man who lives in Winterbloom and has struggled for many years to find use for the vast amounts of snow that fall each year. He eventually gave up and went to the Scholars Guild to request a solution, but was unceremoniously turned away. Thank you. Good for him, I guess. I do not know. What I do know is that, um, well, we found the scholar job near here, so I won't be getting it this time. Let's see. A capable hunter who can be found fishing at the nearby lake in the summer. The fresh meat and fish he provides fill the bellies and nourish the souls of the townsfolk. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to see if I could steal anything. Let's see. Um, jerky and a plum. All right, and that nice crate bow looks expensive. All right. A hunter, farmer, manufacturer, and merchant. He packages the meat he hunts and the vegetables he grows into preserved meals he then sells wholesale to the town and surrounding villages. He abhors wasting food, preferring to use even the stalks and roots of his vegetables in his meals. Ooh. And he has things. Alrighty, I don't even remember if I... Oh yeah, I definitely did not explore this town. Okay, what about you, sir? A soldier born and raised in Winterbloom who, no... who now stands guard at the Montwise Library. Though the Winterbloom armor's wares are simple, he appreciates their durability enough to return whenever he needs to replenish his supply. Ooh, give me that lychee. Alright, and what do you got for sale? Because I think I need things. You do not have things for sale that I need. Uh, that's the inn. That's the tavern. The weapon shop is up there. Um, not that one, though. Um, alright, well, you know what? I can explore the rest of the town at my leisure. I know I might be missing stuff, 
for people, but it also takes a lot of time, and I am sure folks would like me to get on with things. Oh, there's a lady in a bed there. A strengthening serum. Interesting. All right, anyway. Well, but before we do any of that, I want to go see what's inside this house. It looks like a greenhouse. It is a greenhouse. Okay. And then I want to talk to the side quest peoples. And then Particio's side quest is also here. I should consider what seeing what that's about, too. My son will be leaving soon to pursue his dream of being a scholar. I want to give him a parting gift before he goes, but I just don't have the money. Isn't there anything I can give my boy to wish him well on his journey? Alright. Uh, yeah, you can give him the silver quill I found. You said this is the beloved quill of a former scholar? I can't believe you went through all that trouble for me and my boy. Thank you so much. I'm going to give it to him right away. You wanted to speak to me, father? This is for you, my boy. I hope it helps you on your journey. Wait, I know what this is. They say many a scholar is fond of silver quills like these. And when a scholar retires, they usually pass their quill on to another to encourage their studies. I may not be a scholar, but the intention is the shit is the same. Yeah. The path ahead of you won't be easy. There might even be times where you want to give up. But I believe in you, boy. You're going to be great someday. I just know it. Father, thank you. I swear on this quill that I'll study hard and make you proud. You already do, you already do son. And I can't wait to see you walk through that door as a full-fledged scholar. Yay, we got a magic nut. Okay. And I think we need to hop knock this guy out. Take a nap. Good night. Thank you. Huh. Uh, old armor. Uh, that's a downgrade. Okay. Nothing really worthwhile in his house except for his wife. I've got a nice warm room to sleep in yet again tonight, and that's enough to keep me happy. And she's not here during the day. Um. Alright, well, I can't inquire during the day. Although, I am. Well, I already knocked him out, so we can't interact with him anymore. Yenny. What about you? Grr, I hate this stupid sword. What business does it have being stuck in this rock anyway? I tried pulling it out, but it won't budge. Maybe I'm just not strong enough. I wonder if I can break the rock with one of those pointy things that miners have. Or maybe I just need more hands to rip this thing out. Say, you folks seem to have plenty of hands between you, but I still don't think it'll be enough. All right, well, you can give me your stuff and tell me about yourself. Daughter of a local shopkeeper. Energetic, cheerful, and prone to saying exactly what she thinks, she has lately taken an interest in gardening and begun collecting trees and flowering plants that can thrive in the local climate. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Do I need to talk to her again? Eh. Okay. Well, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do there to try and get it out, so... Yeah. Anyway, let's check this out. Please, someone help me! Hmm, I could have sworn I just heard something. Please, someone help me! It's coming from inside this house. I should pop in and see what's going on. Yeah, I have no idea if it's a good idea to tackle this side quest for Particio at the same time as doing Throne's main quest, but whatever. Uh, pardon me, anyone home? Please, 
Someone help me! Oh wow, same inflection every time. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, don't worry, I I'm here to help. Please, someone help me! I, I can't find you. Where are you? Please, someone help me! Oh. Uh huh? Is this where that voice has been coming from? Please, someone help me! Uh, it is! What a strange device. I wonder if it's hooked up to something. No, the voice you hear is indeed coming from that machine. And you are? A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Audley. Name's Particio. A pleasure. Right back at you. I am a trader, a salesman specializing in curios and oddities. This device here is called a phonogrammic articulator. I purchased it from an inventor in the city. Wowee, a phonogrammic articulator, was it? Yes, and just like its name would imply, it records confabulations and re-articulates them. What an astonishing device. I guess that's why it sounds like you. Correct. And apologies. I didn't mean to cause any consternation. I sure was consternated. I thought some poor soul was in a pickle and needed help. Actually, that is indeed the case. Say what? I'm in... Uh... uh Pickle, as you say, I can't for the life of me figure out how to sell the blasted thing. I suppose that's why I recorded that soulful appeal. This new hickey won't sell? Seems interesting enough to fly off the shelves to me. Everyone oohs and ahs at first, goggling at this strange marvel. But when they inquire as to what purpose a machine that merely repeats a voice can serve. I see. Like a one-trick pony. Everyone gets bored right quick. Most unfortunately, yes. I proposed its use as an archive of sorts for ideas and memorandums. Let me guess. Everyone says paper's far faster and cheaper to boot. Correct. That is it, in the proverbial nutshell. <laughs> I am a merchant like you, fella. Ah, so you pursue the path of commerce too. No wonder you possess such clear insight. I have the unfortunate character flaw of excitedly purchasing every unusual do and dad I find. Ah, <sighs> if only I possessed your discerning eye, Particio. I envy your perspicacity. Hey, Audley. Say you got two boxes. One empty, one filled with jewels. Slap the same price on both, and which one would sell better, you think? Why, the one filled with jewels, of course. Then why not stuff that empty box of yours, chock full of jewels? Jewels? In the phonogrammic articulator? You betcha. Jewels made a sound that you want to listen to again and again. Music. Stuff it full of music, you say. An interesting proposal. You're right. A cultured ear would delight at hearing beloved ballads time and time again. That's what I just said. Ah, wait, but... This town is a musical desert. I know no one skilled in the harp nor lyre. Leave it to me. 
I'll go rustle up some troubadours and hire them on for you. Troubadours? We don't need any horseback healers. You would do that for me? You bet. I travel around, so I'm sure to run into someone. I am in your debt. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll prepare the device for recording at once. Good luck, fella. Now then, what sort of musician should I bring back here? Just one tune won't be enough, that's for sure. The more the merrier, as Pops used to say. Hmm, three's a lucky number. So that's how many I'll find. Alrighty. So I guess I just gotta keep an eye out for people who are musicians and then bring them to that spot for Particio's side quest. Eh, sounds complicated, because the only way to get information is that at night is with, um, what's-his-butt or the other person. Easy there, watch where you're going. Uh, only a 28% chance to scrutinize. Give me the net. <laughs> All right. And let's make it night. Uh, the best I can do is try to mug him, but that won't go well. Okay. Oh, there's the weapon shop. I'm not into the habit of ta taking business during daylight hours. A lone bandit whose face betrays not even a hint of emotion. He'll do quite literally anything if the price is right. He uses nearly all the money he earns to look after stray dogs and cats he's taken in. Aww, that's it. Adorable. All right, anyway, there's the weapon shop. A promise is a promise, am I right? You are right. A bandit waiting for someone. Exactly one year ago, he invested a pile of leaves into a fellow bandit scheme that was guaranteed to produce untold riches. Now he's left waiting for someone who seems increasingly unlikely to appear and wonders, is it worse to deceive or be deceived? Uh, well, I don't know about the deceiving stuff, but I'm gonna steal your things. Mwahaha. All right, anyway, here's the weapon shop. Let's see here. Any new things I can buy? Well, there's a soldier's spear. That's an upgrade for Particio. Let's equip it. Oh, right, and then job-wise, I decided to make Throne the um, inventor. Um, it gives her an AoE skill and all that fun stuff. I made Casty a, um, cleric, because it just, uh, fits for her, I guess, to have all that free healing skills, or those free healing skills, free quotation marks. Anyway, anyway, and then I put Apothecary on Oswald, because it's the only other job I have that he can actually take. All right. Uh, let's see, that horned helm would be an upgrade for Oswald, so let's buy one. And now I'm broke! Hooray! Well, hopefully there's a boss fight at the end of this, that way I can get a bit more cash. Alrighty. Guess I could start selling these weapons I don't need, too. Oh, I never know what I need to hold on to. Well, I can at least get rid of the armor, because I know I definitely don't need that. And I can always prioritize buying new armor every time I go to a thingamadoo dad. Alright, yeah, 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 we're gonna get rid of the armor. Alright, and then we'll see if we can afford things. Gear, peddler's feather cap, silver hairpiece, old armor, copper breastplates, pilgrim's robe, feather mantle, sailor's 
this. Simple costume, robe. Ugh, I just have to be careful about selling things I need for what's it called? Inventor. Oh, can I steal anything from you, sir? I forgot to see if there were things I could buy. Ooh, a giant bow and fur armor. I'll take that. All right. Now, uh, let's see. Is that giant's bow an upgrade? It is not. But I'll hold on to it just in case. But I do know that fur armor is a downgrade. All right. Buying things. I could buy a new axe. Throne, I could definitely use an axe. Ugh, but I also definitely need an upgraded staff for uh, Oswald. All right. Well, I can afford the axe, so that's what we're going to get. All right. Anyway, story time. I've been stalling long enough. He's not here. Well, well, look who showed up. You really are a beauty. Hmm? Why don't you come have some fun with us? I don't have time to play with children. <laughs> How about you take a look around? There's three of us and only one of you. Besides, we were told we could have our way with you. So be a good girl and we'll make it worth your while. <laughs> Ew. Ellipsis Gaming. I've had more than I can stand of these brats. Time to put them to bed. Ooh, are we fighting or do we have to knock them out? Oh, we have to use ambush. Good night. Eh, there we go. Good night. And one more. Una mas por favor. Good night. <laughs> well done, my girl. Father. Neither dead nor alive, robbed only of their movement. <laughs> It takes an experienced hand to perform a feat like that. Thank you. Children these days are so simple. A few leaves is all it takes to win someone's obedience. I told them a beautiful woman would be visiting and that they could take whatever liberties they wanted with her. <laughs> I'm sure they're dreaming of you as we speak. <laughs> Ellipsis Gaming. Oh, don't look so cross, girl. I was only joking. Enough. I deal with your antics every time we work together. But you've grown because of it. You're the best in the nest now. It rhymes because it's true. I take it you finished the last job then. <laughs> More ellipsis gaming. Was that also meant as a joke? You mean tricking my children into killing each other? <laughs> well, he's laughing, so it must have been funny. I told you, didn't I? to be my successor. Once we finish this job, the throne's all yours. Throne nay. And Ellipsis Gaming. I don't want it. I came here to kill you. 
I will find an opening. I must. Time to get to work. I'll tell you more when we get there. Come find me when you're ready. I'll be waiting on the eastern side of town. Understood. Travel banter! I guess fathers are the same everywhere. Always pushing their children to do the impossible. Your father too? When I was a chickadee, we got our hands on this humongous melon. Pops wanted to share it with the neighbors, so he told me to cut it into eight pieces. He said if any of them, any of them was even a seed heavier, it was no good. He gave me an earful when I said it was impossible. Said we had to be fair, else the neighbors wouldn't would be unhappy. I can imagine people fight over treasure all the time. Made me sad thinking of people squibbling over something small like that. So I got each of them their own giant melon. Huh, ah, impressive. Eh, the neighbors were grinning from ear to ear. But I'd used up a bundle of leaves in the process. So we were stuck eating their stir eating stir fried veggies for days. In the end, I got myself another earful from Pops. I should have seen that coming. Eh. Yeah, Farticio seems to be generous to a fault. There you are. Ellipsis Gaming. As I expected, no openings, even from behind. But Father is sure to let us guard down sometime. The moment he strikes the killing blow on his target. No matter how skilled the assassin, they haven't a thought to spare on anything else at that moment. That's my opening. That's when I will kill Father. Why have we come here? See the snow hares. They're a thieves' guild that call this town home. They used to be on good terms with the black snakes, but they've been encroaching on our territory lately. Death to traitors. Precisely. There's one sentry at the entrance. Our job is to infiltrate the hideout and eliminate the leader of the Snow Hares. You will take the lead, Throne. I will provide support. Support? Father and I have worked countless jobs together. But he was always the one to deliver the final blow. We both knew that his dagger wouldn't miss. What is he thinking? Could he have seen through my plan? What's the matter, Throne? This is no more than a test to see what you're truly capable of. <sighs> Ellipsis Gaming. This is... unexpected. Now I have to do the job and wait for another chance. Understood, Father. Do you remember our first job, Throne? Why? I want to know if you've grown used to the smell of blood. <sighs> Ellipsis Gaming! I'll be back. I'll take that as a no. You really should answer questions people ask you, Throne. No, only here at night. Okay, anyway. Ambush the guard. Hi there, guard. Prepare to be ambushed. Good night. Ellipsis Gaming. Killing him would be safer. Corpses don't come after you. But I refuse to spill blood unless I must. I hate the way it makes me feel. I wonder when it all began. 
When did my hands begin to waver? New flashback. Very dangerous to do that in the middle of the road. Please, don't kill me. Go on, give it a try. <sighs> Ellipsis Gaming. I can't do it. You're still young and naive, Throne. You're wasting your sympathy. He's the worst sort of scum there is. <sighs> More Ellipsis Gaming. Come now, Throne. Once you kill him, you'll understand. You'll see how intoxicating the smell of blood can be. Soon enough, you'll want to spread it on your bread like butter. I'd rather have raspberries. <laughs> but of course. Everyone is born with a gift. The gods bestow us all with a job only we can do. It is our fate. Yeah, fire emblem. Fates! Your gift was wielding a dagger, Throne. If you want to live, you must learn to kill. <laughs> Ellipsis Gaming. Very good. Just as I expected. How was it, my dear? The smell of blood. I hate it. Ever since then, I killed just the way father taught me. I can't remember how many lives I've taken. My hands are forever tainted with the stench of blood. But soon, soon I will put this life behind me. All right, in we go. Ooh, this is a building with things and stuff. All right, anyway, and yeah, it's nice to have an idea of what um, those side quests are. It looks like it's just something that you solve with their path-related abilities or something like that. So Particio might actually have it tougher than most since I have to find specific people. You there. Please, please help me. If you don't, they'll sell me away. Uh, I heard a rumor. They say the Snow Hairs kidnap girls for trade. Please help me. Oops, sorry. Ellipsis Gaming. I will help you, but after my job here is done. Sit tight. Thank you. You're a kind woman. Now, to find out who's behind all this. Ooh, I imagine that exhausted woman is going to either be important or dead. I can't interact with her. No, oh, aside from basically talking. Ooh, what's this? It's a candle on a barrel. We got treasure, healing grape, medium. Eh. 
I got startled. That must be purged. Mm. There's Cassie being her usual intense self. Uh, they're probably weak to thunder. Strike them down. Oh, no, they're not. What well, to do? they're all weak to bows, so let's throw a bow at them. Well, well. Yay! What to do? What to do? Yeah, I'm just I could. I could always take away the staff that Casty's using, and if it's stronger than the one um, Oswald has, I could have them trade. Bring it on! My turn. Yeah. I know no cure for something. Alrighty. Oh, Cassie's got 3k. I think that should be enough to buy a new skill. Hmm. Yeah, that should be. Alright. Yes. Alright, let's buy Weak to Poison. Focus on a Pot Heck Reverse. Alright, and then the Master um, Apothecary Carry skill, or the Divine skill, is... Doter's Charity. Extend the reach of a single ally's items to affect all for three turns. Eww. Anyway, what's that other support skill she got? Uh, let's see. Preventative Measures grants the equipping character immunity to enfeebling effects for three turns at the start of battle. That sounds useful. I'm gonna equip that over Hail and Hearts. While having more um, HP on my healer is does sound very pretty really useful um i think being a immune to status conditions might be even more so hmm interesting this place looks very maze like i am so good oh never mind this is the end already okay so it looks like there's probably going to be a lot of treasure in the water and whatnot so we're gonna have to go exploring backtracking and back exploring and exploring the backs. Ew! I see a thing up there. Out of my way. Hmm. Although that has me wondering if there's more to this job than just taking out the boss. Fire. Like, um, maybe the quest will continue on for a quest storyline will continue on for a bit. After that. My turn. Well now. Oh, I forgot to check Cassie's staff. Whatever. Silence. That's rude. You're rude. Here goes. Alright. And let's go ahead and actually let's have Particio use fire. Fired up! Yeah, because Oswald still does not have easy access to a um, SP restoring skill. Uh, he would if I gave him the cleric job, so that is something to consider. Hmm, yes, definitely should consider it. Oh, wait, that's right. After battle, he does recover um, HP and MP, though. What to do? All right, I think we can steal from you. But let's full boost. Just to make sure it works. Yay! I take what I want. Good job, Frene. All right. Uh, let's see. So equipment. Um, sapphire raw. Uh, yes, that would be an upgrade. So, for now, I'll give her the Rod of Thunder, so that way I can put the Sapphire Rod onto Oswald, and then we go back and give her the Lapis Rod. Not much of an upgrade, but it will do. Alright, there's an inspiring plume down the ladder, and let's see, I think we can go around this day. 
Hmm. But yeah, it is very interesting that they have this whole dungeon designed, uh, and it can be as short or as long as you want it to be. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, treasure. Gimme. No, I don't want to fight. I said, Gimme. Oh. I was caught. I did not consent to that. I did not consent. Ow. Bring it on. That was rude. You guys are rude. You know what happens to rude things? We set them on fire. My turn. Let's see. Are you weak to daggers? He is not. Are you weak to axe puns? You are not. Hmm. All right, let's burn him again. Fire, burn. All right, so the thief is not weak to fire either. Multi-freeze, they certainly like what to pick to on do? Particio. Uh, let's see. Are you weak to, you're not weak to axes. Swords? Are you weak to swords? Poison bash. You know, these people are just so rude. Alright, anyway. Burn you. I keep forgetting I'm massively overleveled. Hold it together. Not weak to staves. I need a plan. Okay. Mm, maybe thunder? Strike them down. You're finished. Yay! Study harder. But yeah, that was actually another reason why I ended up going with a pot hecary onto um, Oswald is because of um, uh, how it has that passive skill to restore, uh, learns a passive skill to restore HP and MP after battle. Alrighty. Okay. There it is, there it is. Oh, right, I noticed this ladder in the background, so I knew there had to be a way over to that thingamadoodad. An empowering bracelet. What do, what do? Uh, HP plus 500. Mm, I don't really need that on anyone in this group. Although, this group does not have a tank. Uh, if I had found the hunter job, or the warrior job, I'd be set. But I haven't found those yet. Come and get me. I imagine I might unlock hunter once I go to that one area in Totohaha. I think for, um, uh, Particio's quest. Ready? Uh, let's go ahead and use our well, catapult well. to fling a lance. Whew. Alright. And we'll bow you down. Hey, oh, we need a play. And we'll make an axe pun here. Ow oh, chase. What to do? Alright. And I think we're gonna have to use Darkest Knight. Afraid of the dark. So that way we can kill Here both of these guys this turn. Let's do it. Oh, I don't want to use the Felgen's bounty because that would not pay off. So let's burn them. Fired up. Woo wee! Time to divvy up the arms. Yes, yes, I do, actually. Alrighty. And then we save again. Make sure everyone's healed up. Everyone is not healed up. Particio, you took damage! Oh. 
Who are you? And what are you doing here? I've come to clean up the filth. That tattoo. You're one of the black snakes. I take it you've come to talk about our little territory issue. <sighs> Ellipsis Gaming. The black snakes have long been our allies. But the snow hares, we're capricious creatures. The snakes have grown old. They're not as tough as they used to be. The fact that they've sent a weak little girl like you just proves it. Oh, weak am I? Enough talk. Why not see how weak this little girl is for yourself? I accept your challenge. I'm through with you and your kid. I've set my sights on strong allies. The death of the Black Snakes is nigh. No, oh, he has no, no idea. Filth. All right. Protected by his thieves, eh? Bring it on. All righty. Well, we can definitely start hitting their staff weakness, but I want to analyze and see what some more of their stuff is. Thunder and light. Meantime. Very handy. Okay. Uh, and daggers. Time. Oh. Oh. That would be very, very handy. Okay. And let's go ahead and staff you again. Ouchies. But yeah, since I don't have an actual tank in this party, it means I'll have to focus um, highly on our damage output. Alright, so make sure we get these guys down. I am going to staff you. My turn. We're gonna have Throne, HP Thief, you. No. And then Oswald is going to use at Oh, let's teach. Grants a single ally your attribute. Oh, yeah. Okay. Advanced magic. Calculations complete. Ouchies. Here goes. Good under it. Yeehaw! Let's do it. All right. Let's kill one of you. The Falcons make me rich. Boo, Yakasha. And we got 2,000 gil. Over. Now, next, we're going to use another HP thief. You're too cool. Gotcha. No. Oh. Oh, let's analyze. Let Speak to fire, I see. Debilitating well, Sting? All you did was lower my accuracy. That is not going to work. Especially on Casty, who can just rehab I've herself. Got just the cure. <laughs> I'm just getting warmed up. Um that didn't actually work. Okay then. Alright, let's use Particio's turn to analyze. Okay, bows, swords. Here I go. Okay then. Well, I don't know how to cure that then. Oh, well, let's just go ahead and use heal wounds then. Got to hope. My All turn. Right. And Throne's got swords, so she can sort this out. As soon as I find them. No. Thing. Uh, Oswald, why don't you go ahead and... Reduce them to half. Fire. Oh. <laughs> Alright, and then we can have Particio bow him down. I want to hold him back. 
Are negotiations over? Ow. All right, let's see. Use an armor corrosive. You're open. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal wounds again. Thanks. No. Kill my rat. And then we go with. Wait, wait, we'll boost the. Elemental Barrage! Whoosh! Indulge Gotcha. My turn. Oh, okay. So that wasn't affected by advanced magic. Good to know. Let's see. 34% chance to steal. Well, we don't want to worry about that. So let's shackle him next. Here I go. No mercy. Only pain. That's right. No mercy. Only pain. Poison axe. Poison slash. Oh, all right. And it looks Here like the apothecary goes. thingy um, got an upgrade. So it looks like it'll protect her from the next three status conditions she would get hit with, not necessarily uh, only for three turns. Very nice to know. The Falcon make me rich. All right. And I may as well use advanced magic on Particio too. <laughs> Forbidden pressure. Oh. Well, that sounds interesting. Okay. All right. So. Let's go ahead and use our latent power to use Plum Leaf with a diffusing seal. Thanks. No. Alright, next we are going to burn Reduce you again. Alright, so it looks like it makes Meantime. it so it hits twice. I'm just getting warmed up. Alright, and does it affect Ember? No, it does not affect Ember. It looks what like it only do? works on. But I will hold back. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Only oh, is this again? Oh, nullify their status ailments and enfeebling. Okay. So that removes things from them. Or removes negative stuff from them. I need something that removes the positive things. And I don't think Casty gets that. Like anyone gets that to be perfect on it. Or to be perfectly honest. I'm just getting warmed up. Alright, let's go ahead and donate BP. We're gonna wanna do that to uh Throne. Thanks. So that way um you'll be able to do stuff. Alright, and now let's go for another elemental barrage. Finished. Ah, oh, yeah, nice going, Oz. Study harder. Yay, and we used Befelgen's bounty a few times, so we should have the monies. It appears your own end is nigh. Please, spare me. I'll do anything you ask. <sighs> Ellipsis Gaming. Oh, I'll even lick your shoes. Ew. Uh, and not just the top. I'll lick the bottom, too. Yes, gladly. Who would want that now? 
You disgust me. Thank you. No, please spare me. Sorry, don't take it personally. Oh. Even the most skilled assassin is vulnerable the moment he strikes a killing blow. Isn't that right, Throne? Father. Don't worry, you'll live. I didn't hit any vitals. You upheld my teachings well, child. But that won't be enough to kill me. So you knew. Of course I did. I'm your father, after all. I can see through all your schemes. You would be dead now had I wanted that. Yeah, Throne, eh? Getting sloppy dropping your guard like that. Help! Silence her. What did I do wrong, Throne? I cared for you more than any of my other children. I'm tired of this life. I want to leave the Black Snakes. And to do so, I must kill you. I see. <laughs> That's a terrible evil laugh. You should feel ashamed. Oh, Throne. You truly are my daughter. When you're ready, Come to Montwise. I'll be waiting for you there. Then we can put an end to all of this. Father. I couldn't even move. Huh. I'm curious. Oh. <laughs> Ellipsis Gaming. Anyway, I'm curious why he actually doesn't just kill her, because he doesn't seem too attached on keeping her alive now that he's aware that she plans to kill him. Eh, unless it's just a game to him and he's incredibly bored. I do not know. Maybe it'll all be explained later. She's gone. I was too late. Yeah, you should have cut her loose before you went in. But you know what they say about hindsight. It's 2020. Which was a terrible year. Father never let his guard down. Not once. I don't know if I can defeat him head on. But I have to try. Montwise. That's where he'll be. I must go there if I'm ever to be free. Furone fails to strike down her mark, and when the snake's game of deception ends, Father emerges as the victor. He reveals he knew Throne's intentions from the start, and so she steals herself for an arduous journey toward freedom. Throne the Thief, Chapter 2, Father's Root, End. Alrighty, 
And yeah, that seems to be it. I think there are a few more things I can explore around town here and there. But for now, I'll call that here. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all the next time.